The following is an audio renaissance presentation. Welcome to the audio renaissance presentation of Dr. Fritjof Capra's The Tao of Physics. What you're about to hear are selections excerpted from the text that reflect the essence of this masterwork. We can only present selections, for it would be impossible in the time we have together to fully describe or explain all the truly exciting discoveries of modern physics, especially those that are now springing from laboratories exploring the atomic and subatomic world in new and dramatic ways. However, in the next while, we want to share with you some of what Dr. Capra perceives as the great wonders of science and mysticism. Explore the harmony that exists between them and the harmony that exists in our universe. The genesis of the Tao of Physics was a singularly beautiful moment that Dr. Capra experienced one late summer afternoon many years ago. Sitting by the ocean, watching the waves rolling in and feeling the rhythm of his breathing, he suddenly became aware of the whole environment as being engaged in a gigantic cosmic dance. Being a physicist, he knew that the sand, rocks, water, and air around him were made of vibrating molecules and atoms. He knew that these consisted of particles which interacted with one another by creating and destroying other particles. He also knew that the Earth's atmosphere was continually bombarded by showers of cosmic rays, particles of high energy undergoing multiple collisions as they penetrated the air. All this was familiar to him from his research in high-energy physics. But until that moment, he had only experienced it through graphs, diagrams, and mathematical theories. But as Dr. Capra sat on that beach, his former experiences came to life. He saw cascades of energy coming down from outer space, in which particles were created and destroyed in rhythmic pulses. He saw the atoms of the elements and those of his body participating in this cosmic dance of energy. He felt its rhythm and heard its sound. And at that moment, he knew that this was the dance of Shiva, one of the oldest and most popular Indian gods, the lord of dancers worshipped by the Hindus. According to Hindu belief, all life is part of a great rhythmic process of creation and destruction, of death and rebirth. Shiva's dance symbolizes this eternal life-death rhythm which goes on in endless cycles. In the words of Ananda Komar Swami, Shiva, quote, rises from his rapture and dancing sends through inert matter pulsing waves of awakening sound, and lo, matter also dances, appearing as a glory round about him. Dancing, he sustains its manifold phenomena. In the fullness of time, still dancing, he destroys all forms and names by fire and gives new rest. This is poetry, but nonetheless science. Unquote. The dance of Shiva symbolizes not only the cosmic cycles of creation and destruction, but also the daily rhythm of birth and death which is seen in Indian mysticism as the basis of all existence. At the same time, Shiva reminds us that the manifold forms in the world are maya, not fundamental, but illusory and ever-changing, as he keeps creating and dissolving them in the ceaseless flow of his dance. Modern physics has shown that the rhythm of creation and destruction is not only manifest in the turn of the seasons and in the birth and death of all living creatures, but is also the very essence of inorganic matter. More than that, the dance of creation and destruction is the basis of the very existence of matter. Modern physics has revealed that every subatomic particle not only performs an energy dance, but also is an energy dance, a pulsating process of creation and destruction. For modern physicists, then, Shiva's dance is the dance of subatomic matter. As in Hindu mythology, it is a continual dance of creation and destruction involving the whole cosmos, the basis of all existence and of all natural phenomena. Hundreds of years ago, Indian artists created visual images of dancing Shivas in beautiful bronze sculptures. In our time, 
physicists have used the most advanced technology to portray the patterns of the cosmic dance. The bubble chamber photographs of interacting particles which bear testimony to the continual rhythm of creation and destruction in the universe are visual images of the dance of Shiva equaling those of ancient Indian artists in beauty and profound significance. The metaphor of the cosmic dance thus unifies ancient mythology, religious art, and modern physics. It is indeed, as Koumar Swami said, poetry, but nonetheless science. That experience on the beach, and many experiences that followed it in succeeding years, helped Dr. Capra to gradually realize that a consistent view of the world is beginning to emerge from modern physics, a view which is harmonious with ancient Eastern wisdom. The essential purpose of this program is to explore the relationship between the concepts of modern physics and the basic ideas in the philosophical and religious traditions of the Far East. Let us then now begin our exploration of that relationship.